Okay, here we are on the page, <clears throat> the setup page. Um, it's running uh, beta firmware uh, 1.11 beta 002 um, that David uh, uploaded for me. And as you can see here, I've got uh, output one uh, mapping string uh, 13 data. Let me get, oops, let me take care of this. Uh, take a look at the serial ports here. And as you can see, um, we have uh, 150 nodes configured here on uh, port 13. Um, there are actually only 50 physically connected. Uh, we just have a, 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 a test uh, string here. And then I have a, another string uh, to confirm what's going on on the controller here, uh, coming off one, one of the other outputs directly. Uh, we have a, a piece of Cat5 here, um, uh, about a, I want to say that's probably 25 feet or so. I mean, it's just a, a, a patch cable that I had laying around that I, I put a connector on. And we have it coming in <coughs> to uh, one of the Arduino boards that I picked up off of eBay. And as you can see here, the correct orientation on the wires is the white stripe here uh, going to A and the solid going to B on it if you guys are using these modules <coughs> and what I've got here uh, since I'm running the Falcon off of 12 volts I've just got a uh, 78L05 sit, sitting here to give me 5 volts uh, for this board right here so we're taking pixel data out of port 1 here and only one set and feeding it into a 45 decoder and then coming out uh, with pixel data right to a strand of pixels here so if we put the controller in test mode as you can see here this is what's happening directly on the board and then this <clears throat> this set of pixels here is going through the 45 uh, decoder through the cat5 and then uh, coming orig uh, coming out of port one over here. So here's um, there's uh, proof of concept for uh, for David's uh, new uh, beta firmware. It uh, works swimmingly with um, easy to obtain hardware. Basically, all you need is a Cat5 and a 45 um, decoder chip, such as a Max 45. <clears throat> I picked picked up. Um, these boards off of eBay for about a buck so for you know if you want to use that entire port cost, cost you about four, four bucks worth of parts off of eBay uh, plus connectors and wire obviously but you you could send all four uh, channels that he's got in his uh, firmware through a single cat5 and then decode it with uh, four of these boards here so there you go David it works thank you very much sir